is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. I wanted you to see this. Bruce took this beauty in Teller County over the weekend. You can see Pikes Peak in the background there. That is calendar quality picture, Bruce. Thanks for sending that in to us. Always post your pics where the world can see them. Share them up on our Facebook page, KOAA5. Outside right now, live look in Colorado Springs. We've got low clouds all across the Pikes Peak region. That's live from the Steel City. Some real beneficial rain falling in Pueblo over the past 24 hours. Actually had a thunderstorm across parts of the city last night. Trinidad, you are socked in. That's a live look from Woodland Park. Fog developing across parts of Teller County right now. And please keep in mind, we've got that freeze warning active from midnight tonight through 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for all of El Paso County. Simply means if you have that tender vegetation, you want to prolong the growing season, apply CPR, cover plants rapidly, cover your plants and also cover yourself. It's going to be a cold one. Here's the good news though. Haven't given you a rain check in a heck of a long time. East side of the springs, almost a half an inch of water in the past 24 hours. That's impressive. The far northeast side of Pueblo around walking stick over eight tenths. Rye picked up six tenths in La Junta. That would be good for August, not October. 1.3 inches of rain just in the past 24 hours. Really quiet out there right now. Dry over the springs, dry in Pueblo. A few showers out east of Pueblo along Highway 50 and points north. Also, a few showers down around the Walsenburg area. And take a look at this snow flying across the I-70 corridor right now. Northern and central mountains getting some very beneficial snow right now. Here's what's going to happen over the tw uh, next 24 hours. Tracking a storm system. It's over New Mexico now. It'll lift out into Colorado tomorrow. It'll bring with it rain, snow, and cold air as well. In fact, afternoon highs tomorrow, even a few degrees cooler than what we had today. And you know it was a chilly one out there today. Here's the way it breaks down hour by hour. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m rain from Pueblo out along Highway 50, snow from Walsenburg to Trinidad back into the wet mountains, wet mountain valley and Sangre de Cristos. Watch how this snow tries to back into portions of Colorado Springs later in the morning into the afternoon hours. I've got snow in the forecast for parts of Teller County as well and this is early afternoon. Still warm enough for rain across the lower elevations from Pueblo all the way out to the Kansas border and we're still going to see some snow across parts of El Paso County, also down across the wets and the Sangres. Then by tomorrow evening we dry out briefly. Watch what happens happens though. Next little piece of energy coming across. It drags more rain and snow across the mountains, then across the I-25 corridor. Everything shutting down after midnight tomorrow night. The latest models really shutting down the snowfall production, but we could see up to a trace, maybe an inch of snow across parts of El Paso County. Higher amounts, of course, the closer you are to the Palmer Divide in the Pueblo area. You won't see any snow accumulate, mainly rain in your forecast tomorrow, but across the wet mountains into the wet mountain valley, two to four, maybe even five inches of snow up on top of Greenhorn Mountain by late tomorrow night and from Walsenburg into Trinidad. These models kicking out anywhere from one to three inches of snow by late in the day tomorrow. Here's what happened today. Pueblo 49 in the springs. The high was 44 out at the airports. A little over three tenths of an inch of much appreciated water outside right now. We're in the 30s and 40s. Woodland Park barely above, above the freezing mark right now. It's awfully going to get awfully cold there. 24 and here's why we've got that freeze warning for El Paso County. Springs dropping down to 30 tonight. Monument 25 anywhere across northern El Paso County. I think you'll be in the mid 20s tonight. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow going nowhere. This uh, map certainly looking more like a December map, not October highs only into the 40s across the news five viewing area tomorrow in Colorado Springs. What you see is pretty much what you get. It's going to stay unseasonably chilly around here. Afternoon highs even by Friday only at 59 degrees. That's colder than what we should have this time of the year. Tracking a new storm system that comes in late Friday. It'll impact us Saturday into Sunday with much colder air and another shot of getting some precipitation in the form of rain and maybe even snow in some areas in Pueblo warmer drier the main message midweek and then Friday nice day to get outside and enjoy 64 degrees temperatures really fall off over the weekend 10 colder Saturday another 10 colder on Sunday with more rain shower activity in that forecast and for Canyon City you'll be warm by Friday it's a long way to go between now and Friday to get that high of 61 degrees cooler and wetter the main message for your weekend and in Woodland Park I've got snow showers and your forecast tomorrow doesn't look like much at this point. Maybe a leftover shower Wednesday and a new storm system with more snow just in time for that weekend. All right, traffic troubles in Colorado Springs. Austin Bluffs Parkway between Whetstone Drive and Dublin is closed right now, so you need to avoid that area. There is a crash Boulder east of Platt. Steer clear of that. And still another accident. The right lane is blocked on Powers northbound north of Hancock Expressway. Slow traffic all the way back to the MBP. Guys? Mike, thanks.